think religious life has um, an important call to um, women and men today. Coming together um, and really forming that community is huge. And for me, it's a place that I can be myself. I felt totally at home. Um, I can joke around, I can brew my beer, I can have a good time, but then also we can really talk about really um, tough subjects and things that um, isn't always comfortable, but it really helps to make me a better person. There's this myth that there's not a lot of women religious um, that are younger or in their 20s, and I'm here to say there are people, and we have a great time when we come together and we joke, but we have really intense, deep conversations as well, and we really are striving for peace and justice and also just having a good life balance. So um, religious life is, is a great gift um, to the world and it's a great gift to me. I was a counselor at Newman Catholic School in Mason City and found myself devoting my life 24 seven to school and not finding much uh, delight in that. So I met the Sisters of the Presentation that lived in Mason City at the time and I found that they had such joy and such life around their prayer life and interacting with others and their ministries. And I decided I wanted what they had. And so I spent more time with them. I prayed with them. I had fun with them. We did things together and I learned more about how they prayed and I wanted more of that. The message I'd like to leave with those that are looking at their lives in light of what God is calling, there is no one way to consider what God is asking. There are many ways. So always be open to what it is that God might be bringing to you and uh, what God might be saying to you through your experiences and your life choices.